Right then, guys. Here we are. I'm on the river. The river season's open. I've got the float rod ready. The old stick float. Keep it really simple today. I'm actually teaching my mate how to fish. So I'm going to catch a few roaches, get on for a few hours, and then my mate's going to come, so I won't be fishing. But I've got a bit of a video for you already from when I went carp fishing at the private lake. But first, we're just going to do some roach fishing. I've got this second hand cheap flight rod, £10 reel. I've got a £6 main line, and I haven't got any thinner line. I didn't bring it with me, I forgot. And a size 16 hook. Right, let's see, can I catch a roach? Honestly, you wouldn't expect him to fish. He's uh, not flowing, but he goes. There you go, that's, that's a real nice roach. First cast. I'll bring it. I'll bring it to you. Fish. That for a red fin. I'm gonna bring you closer because you're a little bit far away. Look at that first fish, though. Buzzing, yeah, boy. First fish, can't believe that. Um, I'll probably get away with a waggler float because it's not actually moving, but this river's really deep. And you're probably talking like 13, maybe 14 feet here. Here we go, then, guys. Let's get out there. Yeah, I didn't expect the fish first cast. I said I'd probably get away with a waggler float, and I keep grabbing massive bits of bread and I don't need massive bits of bread oh yeah and I've got bread from what I've just literally mushed up in my with water in my little bait tub so yeah river season yeah hey guys after that one fish just died on me I don't know why so I'm going to get the lure out thank you Andrew McRiddle you gave me some wire traces, what I desperately needed. You are the man, and this lure, it's awesome. I've got loads of them. Right, so this you can catch a perch or something. Or even a little jack pike. Right then, guys, we're gonna do a bit of actual close in my face. <laughs> Basically, I'm going to have a little talk because I'm blanking. I'm finding it hard, I'm not going to lie, I've had one roach, man. One. One roach. And it may be something to do with that. Low pressure's coming in. I'm trying to work out how deep the fish are. I've actually moved along one swim because I just can't work it out. But I've seen fish bocking out here, so I'll have a little go out here, see if that works. So yeah, it's been a, it's been a funny old thing. Even, well, say evening, I got here at like four o'clock. No, four o'clock. I got here about three o'clock. There was someone else fishing. Um, and I was like, oh, so I'm fishing. I thought, and I seen these lure fishing. So I thought, ah, bugger, it doesn't matter. So I just said to him, look, I'll go down the other swim. You can go in front if you want. So he didn't have to get past me. Um, so I let him carry on lure fishing and I moved to near spot. I had one roach straight away. But that was it. Uh, absolutely nothing. So as you're waiting for me to catch a fish, we do the old. Uh, Boom, boom, private lake, me catching a fish, a couple of hours in the evening. Right, to see how I get on. Oosh. Right, we in, guys? Whoa. Whoa. I have a crazy take. This is 
running at me. Whoa. Crazy take. It really was mental. Feed it in the weed. Oh, I'm trying to find every snag. This is where I don't want the other rod to go. Slowly walk backwards with it. Whoa, no, I'm not. <laughs> right, there it goes straight out. Oh my god, guys. Oh my god. Let's try and get in that big, big weed bed. Just for a bite as well. Whoa. Oh my god. Just plowing around out there now. Powerful stuff of bombs. Fish just plowing around, sitting down because of the uh, trees above my head. It's just plowing around in front. I'm trying to get the net in front. Whoa. Bats is flying around. Oh my god, it's like this weed bed again. It's like the worst weed bed. No way. Oh, I thought he'd come off it. We'd come off it. Come on, dude. Thank you. 
the back of it. Can't walk back too far with it because of uh, man life above my head. Right. Looks really awkward. Right. And then the rod. Lift it back. I'm going to pull my neck and pull my branch. Oh my god. It's a really long fish. There we go. Look at that. That is a cracking fish. Absolutely buzzing with that. As you can see, it, it did fight ever, ever so hard. And look at this, just to say to you about the dorsal. Look at its dorsal, look how worn away it is. That's because it's so old. His dorsal's worn away. But there we go. Big old head on it. Really old fish. Immaculate. Absolutely cracking. Buzzing with this one. Right, bing bang boss, get a photo. Right, so you've obviously just seen that video of me catching that carp in the evening. I waited like three and a half hours. I had a weird take in the weed. All the fish were at the other end of the lake. I tried to do a video on it. Um, it was just really hard, basically. I couldn't. The fish were all under this tree where it was all weedy and I needed a chod basically. First time ever I'd even say that word, I needed a chod. And um, so I basically get, I got a take in open water. It was a crazy fight and uh, the fish was really nice common. It was a good fight. Um, but yeah, it was, it was just crazy. It was just, uh, I was hoping for more, but again, I was happy with the fish I got, but it was just before dark, you know, and the fish are not even bloody fish for half the time, you know? It's bizarre how funny they can be. Um, but yeah, same, I think I caught that fish before as well on the same pop-up, so check out my other videos and you see what I'm on about. I've definitely had that fish before. Um, but yeah, it's a really nice fish. Um, but yeah, the private lake's not been easy, man. I've had a lot of blanks there. I think I'm going to blank it. Well, I haven't blanked, I've caught one roach. <laughs> but I just, I don't know, it's been really weird today. Uh, the kiddie was lure fishing said there was loads of fish here, so I thought I'd wait for a bit and then I'll check it out. But I've got a tiny bit of bread on, size 16 up, but nothing's taking fancy. I don't know how deep I should fish in it, or you know, it's one of them. You've got to try and work it out. Um, I don't know if I got the. Oh, I think I did get the fish on the bite on drop, so I don't know. I might have to shallow it up a minute, see see if they're up in the water. Because oh, it's raining, they're going to be going down. I've got a little worm out as well on the bottom, but honestly, here, because it's so deep, every time you fish on the bottom, you never get anything. I mean, like, I've done like a whole day on the bottom of the feeder and you wouldn't catch anything. Um, but if you do catch, you catch like an eight pound bream because the bream is huge in here. But to see them, like, you, you see them on the surface in the summer, there's loads of them. But, uh, yeah, we're going to uh, get on. Right, anyway, big man, boss, shoot for you, catch me with fish. All right, here we go, I'm actually in. Can you believe it? Third cast, it feels like the right fish. I've been feeding for ages, thinking what's going on. Yeah, about 10 minutes. I'm not even saying anything, guys, but this actually looks really good. That is a nice roach. Oh my god. There's thunder and lightning, guys. It's really deep water, this river. Okay. Got a tiny little look, and this is a big roach, guys. Oh my god. Guys, I just let her have a little rest. But yeah, that is, I'm well happy with that. It's just, mm -hmm. just worth the trip, just to come for that. That absolutely buzzing with that one. Yeah, boy. River does well. Just going back then. Oh. Like big ropes like this, I always uh, um, have a rest. Because yeah, they're normally pretty old. Come on. There we go. So he's starting to kick. Let them just rest in there for a sec. There we go, buddy. You don't want Mr. Pikey to get him, you know? <laughs> Isn't it, eh? There we go, flew off. Boosh, right, let's get on it. I'm starting to get in some, I said, I've probably been catching it for ages now, but I don't care. Yeah, 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 yeah boy. Let me get in, guys. So I remember, uh, just having a little think then, how easy it was for me when I first caught carp. Like, I found carp, carp fishing quite easy. That was something. <laughs> Ah, oh, someone lure fishing. I think it was. Um, but yeah, 
Um, I used to think, oh, like, easy, I could catch carp. And I used to struggle on the river for, like, years. Sometimes I'd get good sessions, but the majority of the time, blank. Um, especially when you reach fishing. You know, so I'd always bring a lure rod like I have today. But it's actually not been good for lures. Uh, some people told me he's been blanking all day, so... Yeah, hopefully I've got the right depth now. It's just nice to be out on the river, you know. I could easily go and fish somewhere with a bloody carp or something, catch loads of fish, you know. This is spot fishing, isn't it? Ooh, a little weird bite. I keep my eye on it, haven't I? God, it's got to learn, man. Guy on the boat behind me and a guy who's got shoes there on the other side. He's definitely getting bites now. I'll change it around to a better angle than that. This guy doesn't ruin my swim. <laughs> I've just changed it this way because uh, I can talk to the camera a little bit easier when I'm fishing. So I'm just using a tiny little bit of bread to tie his me up. I might even scale down a piece of bread in a minute. I'm getting bites. Nice fish, guys. I knew it didn't work. Oh my god, it's only a small fish. The way it took it. I think he's a swinger. There you go. Cool, it's a nice roach, though. Really nice roach. Could have netted it, but. So, yeah, I think putting that tiny bit smaller bread on. You get me more bites. What I'm doing to keep it all nice and cheap is putting bread in the water, mushing it up, man. But it's literally just mush, big cloud. And there's so many fish in here, you cannot not put enough bait in. I literally would go for like a whole leg down here. So, uh, especially when you're catching all day and that. And I've done a video before on here when I literally catch all day. And uh, I had like a massive bag of roach at the end of the day. Really good stamp. So I've actually caught some good fish today. Free fish. <laughs> this is nice, you know. Different in it. Because the water ain't flowing very much, you know. You literally have to watch it, and then and normally it will flow through. It's not flowing through, so. And again, Mr. Roach again, yeah. about five minutes since my last bite. So it's not like flat out, but the stamp is really good. I'm gonna net this one. Ooh. Skimmer. Skimmer, is it? It's got skimmer in it. Don't look at pure roach to me. Yeah, definitely got a skimmer in it. So yeah, roach bream skimmer hybrid. But, oh, yeah, I got him, don't worry. You can see he's got a real fat belly on him. But yeah, definitely a hybrid that is, and you see they've got brim stone. Literally took half an hour, might even recast it. Just left it on the spot, just kept putting bait on it, I was setting up the other rod, still wasn't doing anything. And uh literally watch the float just dip under really quickly. Yeah boy. That's weed. Oh. oh that weed did. Nice fish as well, isn't it? Ooh, root bream hybrid. Yeah. He's like, why is he saying yeah? It's because in a river, it's not like catching a skimmer in a, in a lake, you know? Ooh. 
I think he thinks he's going to die here. <laughs> he's actually never been up to it. Wait a minute, you get straight back in there. He's really kind of scummy up. But there we go, skin with green. I'm getting straight back in, I'm dropping. <laughs> getting straight back in. There we go. Alright, he's dead. Bang, bosh. Guys, finally in for something. Good angel. Good roach. You go off front. Getting these little weird bites, so I just thought I'd let it take it. That's right, it's a really nice roach. Hybrid. <laughs> Fought like a roach, looks like a skimmer. It's what we like. Hello mate. Hi. Hello mate, Hi. look at that. I brought Archie with me. Boosh. So yeah, I'm really working for my fish. <laughs> um, it's literally every half hour, 40 minutes, I get one bite. It's like, <laughs> you can imagine just staring at the float for half an hour. It's literally that crazy. You get a little dip and that's it. I know it's smaller fish, um, but they are being a little bit funny. So I think I'm going to call it the end here on the end of the video. So like and subscribe. So I hope you like the carp I had as well. I know it's been a bit of a sketchy, weird video. But it's this type of river fishing, I can't, I can't dictate it. It's not like when I go on the little river, I know I'm going to bang out. Um, yeah, I knew it was going to be really hit and miss, but I'm really happy with that big roach I had. And hopefully we might be able to, might be able to see, um, if anything's at the end of this video, it's going to be whatever me and my mate caught. So I'm going to be teaching roach fishing and lure fishing um, and casting, really. He's a sea angler, so you know what it's like, no finesse and sea angling. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so I'm going to teach him some little bits and bobs, and hopefully we can catch something kind of lure. I've just seen something jump off there. Um, I missed a bite at the same time, which is art. But right, hopefully, bing bang bosh. Catch me soon, guys. Like and subscribe. Find Fishman, Instagram, number nine. Bye.